Project number 11 Efficient Box Handling System Overview Hello everyone, in this project we are focused on developing a PLC program to efficiently manage the box handling system overview as illustrated in the figure to the right. Our goal is to meet the following conditions. When the start button is pressed, the conveyor motor activates and runs until the proximity sensor detects 10 nearby boxes. When the start button is pressed, the conveyor motor deactivates. The sensor transitions from normally open to normally close upon detecting any object passing by its bottom. The process can be restarted by pressing the start push button again. Additionally, pressing the stop push button will immediately halt the conveyor motor. For our virtual HMI setup, the following equipment is linked to the virtual PLC. I0, a start push button. I1, a stop push button. I3, sensor input. Q0, controls conveyor motor. Display, counter content. Display, total number of boxes detected by the sensor. Now let's analyze the prepared PLC control program together. Okay, right now notice that the program is, is being executed because of this part, this bar graph. And here it's turned on. So the amount of uh, my counter value is 8 and total boxes are 58 and this is my sensor. So in order to start the operation, I go ahead and click on a start. And when I click on a start button, notice that Q0, which turns the motor on, M1 on, is activated. So motor is working and these boxes are being pushed forward right now in this direction. So as I mentioned before, uh, my I0 is a start push button. My I1 is a stop push button and my I2 is sensor input. So I go ahead and activate the sensor input. We notice that with the activation of each time the total box and counter goes up. Counter right now is on 8. So I activate it. Counter becomes 9. I activate it again. And counter becomes 0. That means 10 boxes are counted and passed on the from the bottom of this sensor. Right now motor is off. Q0 is off and the system is waiting for starting the system and the push of the boxes to forward again. So I go ahead and start it. Notice that motor is on. Q0 is on. Right now again when I come and activate the sensor input for each activation the content of the counter increases for one unit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Notice that right now the counter is reset to zero and total number of boxes 
R70 and system is ready for another start motor is off and Q0 is off so upon the start of the circuit again motor is on again I can continue the same process one two three four five six seven eight nine ten the same repeated process as we did before motor is turned off counter content is zero and now the total number of boxes have passed through the sensor is 80 notice that uh, the whole program is uh, written only with four networks and when I when I started Q00 is turned on so I go ahead and start it notice that this Q0 is turned on and motor is working now so with each tapping on uh, sensor input this network sh that shows the content of the accumulator gets activated and deactivated for one time I started again Q00 on and when I stop it turns off and when I start activating sensor input notice that C0 goes up for each activation of the sensor input and this is the sensor all right i go ahead and stop the program execution all right friends i hope you enjoyed watching this video i will catch you on the next one until then take care